Good morning guys and happy Sunday. So I'm about to show y'all what I'm making for breakfast. I did like a 10 minute workout through Pop Sugar um, that someone had, well a lot of people told me on Instagram and someone told me on, on YouTube. So I went ahead and did that. Um, my legs hurt. But I'm going to show you how I'm getting my greens in for today. Um, so yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm having for All breakfast. Alright guys, so I went into Kroger. Um, I ended up eating this for breakfast. I can't remember if I told you that or not. And um, I do realize, I just went to the store yesterday, but I forgot to um, get stuff to, I mean, I could have meal prepped certain things for breakfast. It's about to get loud, because I'm, I'm burning up. Um, I forgot to get certain things for breakfast to meal prep my breakfast and lunch, so I went back today, and I found a couple things, spent like 28 bucks. So I'll show y'all when I get home. All right, guys, so here's my mini grocery haul. Um, picking up the rest of our stuff. I think honestly, we'll probably be able to get through the month with what we have Maybe just stocking up on some vegetables and milk or something So I I have plenty of meat, but I don't have pork chops. I eat a lot of we eat a lot of ground chicken ground turkey you know whole chickens and um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't eat meat like this so I'm gonna surprise Tyler tonight and I'm gonna um, breadcrumb these and um, cook them up for him with some potatoes and veggies, and I'll be able to eat that too. Um, I got some Italian style breadcrumbs. I always get these. I make little chicken nuggets with them, homemade chicken nuggets, and I'm gonna use it on the pork chops though. I wasn't looking at getting anything like this, but I saw them, they were 99 cents, and I was like, let's scan it and see how much, see how many points they are. So they are one point a piece, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they are, they're one point a piece. So these are just little freezy, um, popsicles. I got this stuff from Kroger. So, shake the bag because it's real fruit. Lay flat, freeze, and enjoy. So, I mean, I guess there's real fruit in there. I don't know. Um, I usually get the um, Kodiak cake pancake mix, but the Krusties was on sale for $1.99 today. And this one, Heart Healthy, was only um, one point more. It was a half cup for six points, and the um, Kodiak cake is a half point, a half cup for five points. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get this a half point for six points. It's only a point more, and this is like four dollars cheaper. So <laughs> that'd be dumb if I got the other one. Um, it got some fat-free seasoned croutons. It's like two tablespoons for like two points. So that'll be good on salads because I'm gonna try to eat more salads. I got these to do my meal prep with. Um, these are. Sandwich slams. So they're like little things. You cut them in half. And they're three points for the sandwich thing. And then I got some O'Brien potatoes. I love messing with these. I'm going to make me um, those things I was talking about. The ones I made for Tyler. And, and I made for me this past week. But I'm going to make some for me for this week for meal prep. So I'm going to put these O'Brien. Well, I have some regular hash brown potatoes that I'm going to finish up. And then I'll open these and use those for the rest I got these regular tortillas for Tyler. He has some left, but he likes doing like imp like empanadas a lot. What are they called? No, just kidding. Not empanadas. So papillas. And um, so I got him more of these so he can have burritos, whatever, and he can make his so papillas or I can make them for him. I was almost out of my Velveeta cheese slices, so I had to get more of those. Y'all know those are one point a piece. These are the turkey patties that I found. I was just kind of looking around. I was looking for ground turkey, and then I saw these and I scanned them, and they're only two point um, for one turkey patty so it says there's about 12 in the bag i think it was like five bucks or something that's not bad so i'm gonna probably make like five of those um things today and i got some blueberry muffin mix i'm gonna bake tyler some muffins so he can enjoy them this week whenever he takes overtime for work and whenever he just wants a snack so Alrighty, that is the grocery Alrighty, haul. guys, so this is my lunch. I ate that bag of chips between breakfast and lunchtime. That was two points. And I'm having one point of cream cheese inside this thing, this like bell pepper thing. And what else is one point? Is this one? That might be one point. The, re the ready whip, right now I can't remember. I think the ready whip is one point. So ready whip one point, that's one point. Sugar free ketchup, zero. Apple, zero. And Tyson's chicken syrup is a zero. So I'm just gonna watch some nursing stuff up there. Yes, that's my dog. I just put him back in his kennel. He doesn't stay all in his kennel, but he'll try to attack me while I'm eating my food. So yeah. All right, guys. So I am, um, after I showed y'all that grocery haul, I studied a little bit, just a little bit. Like when I mean a little bit, I mean like 10 minutes. Just kind of refresh my brain. 
and whatnot. Usually the day before my test, I don't study a lot. At this point, it's cramming and I know what I know. So I have a test tomorrow morning and whatnot. So I don't know what time it is. I wanna say it's around three o'clock. So maybe 2.30, I don't know. But I'm meal prepping. So I don't really meal prep a lot, but I found a breakfast that I really like and then I got my stuff to meal prep lunches. So I was like, screw it, let's meal prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. And also I um, baked Tyler's blueberry thing and it's in the oven. So let me show you. Alrighty, all so I have the lunches started in the back. Um, I'm gonna pair them with grapes. And then I'm using those sandwich slices that I told y'all that are three points a piece. And I'm gonna put a point of meat, mustard zero points, and a point of Velveeta on those. Um, and maybe some lettuce or whatnot. And those are gonna go there. Or I might even use queso cheese, I'm not sure. And now I'm making, I have, I'm only making five of each. So I'm making my breakfasts. So I have a fourth cup of shredded hash browns that I just cooked up a little bit on the stove. Um, it's a fourth cup on each one because I uh, thought I had more shredded hash browns than I did. And I only cooked the shredded hash browns and not the new ones I just bought. So whatever. So on top, I have an egg like this, which is obviously zero points. I cooked, I scrant, I like mixed up four eggs and with a little bit of water and I made these. And these are those two points turkeys. So let me show you how I'm doing those eggs. So they're cooking in here. See, I just pour a little bit. This is for the last egg. I just pour a little bit in there, cook it like that. So that's how we're making these. And then like these are done. I'm just gonna lay a piece of Velveeta cheese and then I'm gonna fold it over and toast it um, on the stove real quick, just so I can get the edges to stick together. And then I'm gonna wrap them up in these pieces of foil and put them in the fridge for this week. And then I'll make the sandwiches after that and then I'll start dinner. But let me show you Tyler's blueberry little cake right. thing. It's yummy. getting crispy. Um, instead of muffins, I'm doing cake, honestly. I'm probably about to take it out. But he loves blueberry, so yeah. All right, I just folded it up. Y'all see how I have it folded up? I put the cheese underneath there. So I have it folded up. Some people were telling me that they weren't able to get it folded, but oh my gosh, let me fold it back okay. up real quick. So I folded it up and I'm just gonna lay it in the stove and on this side so it'll crisp up. Right, so I'll show you. This is what I do. I have it like this. So I just showed you how I folded it. So I put them in here like this and they look like this when they come out. That's a three point um, breakfast like thing from kind of like the Taco Bell one, the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. It's like that, but it's three points and not 24 or whatever. Right. So I got my breakfast done that I was showing y'all, so I'm making my lunches. So what I'm doing is I have this Yokero um, cheese dip. So instead of mustard and a slice of Alveda cheese, I'm just using a tablespoon of this, which is how many points again? We said it was one or two points. It's either one or two points. I think and, it's two, I think the avocados are blocking. Yeah, so the, to, a tablespoon, well it's actually, I'm not even using a tablespoon. I'm just putting a little bit like this. You can see I just wet the bread. So really it's probably half a tablespoon. So we're just gonna say one point, for in a point of meat with some lettuce in here with the three point thing. So it's gonna be three, four, five point sandwich with some grapes and I'm gonna pack um, a bag of the like veggie chips with it. So that'll be my lunch for the week. So that's how I'm gonna make all of these. Hey guys, so it's dinner time. I have the pork chops. I use the panko breadcrumbs. The panko doesn't count anything on these because it's three points for a fourth cup and a fourth cup did like half of these. So it's just two points for a pork chop and then green beans are free and then Tyler's making some mashed potatoes so I might calculate some of those but I'll show you on my plate when I have so a this plate is what my dinner looks like sorry the flash is on because I went we we're eating in bed so here's dinner it's seven points so two points for each pork chop the panko bread crumbs don't count because I used a fourth cup for over five of them and only have two so we're good. We have about three points of potatoes. It was one fourth cup for four points, but I have a little bit less than one fourth, so we're counting as three points. So yeah, that's dinner. I just want to show you how I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul and the meals I showed today. I can't even remember at this point what I showed in this video. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a long day for me. I ain't going to lie. Um, not as long as yesterday though, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Go ahead and, I'm trying to, you see this fluffy hair? <laughs> I'm trying to get that behind my hair. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you again later.